Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. Senate Chief Whip Ali Undumes thumbs out of chamber over alleged procedural error. House of Representatives calls on President Tunubu to declare state of emergency on East West Road. Non governmental organization calls on National Assembly not to pass bill by National Broadcasting Commission. The Senate went into a closed-door session barely 10 minutes through plenary as Senator Ali Undume storms out of the chamber in protest. The drama started barely 10 minutes after the commencement of plenary. The Chief Whip Senator Ali Undume, representing APC Borno South, raised a point of order on some fundamental errors made by the President of the Senate, Gotu Lakpabio, in presiding over the affairs of the Senate. The error referred to by Senator Ndume was a motion moved by Senator Sumaila Kau for a debate on the need to reopen the nigeria Niger border and that he didn't mention the title of his motion. Senator Ndume raised a point of order 51 of the Senate standing rules and requested the Senate president to allow for correction of any error made or observed in plenary. But Senator Akpabi interrupted him, saying the matter already raised cannot be revisited and ruled the chief whip out of order. An attempt by Senator Sunday Karimi, representing APC Kogi West, to sustain Senator Unduma's line of argument through another point of order was also swiftly ruled out of order by Senate President Gosful Akpabi. But the Deputy President of the Senate, Jibrin Barao, quickly rose to read Order 16, which was in defense of the Senate President, and it requires a substantive motion to be moved by any senator for correction or review of earlier decision taken. The House of Representatives has called on President Bola Tinubu to declare a state of emergency on the East-West Road. It urged the government to convene a national stakeholder summit and also commit to creating a regional endowment fund for the speedy completion of the road. The 338-kilometer road dualization project in the Niger Delta region has become an enigma and a source of worry for commuters over the years. Unending variations have had, unending variations have led to non-completion of the road, which has become a nightmare for those who apply it. Ogona Uzorigo says unending variations have led to non-completion of the road, which has become a nightmare for those who apply it. A non-governmental organization has called on the National Assembly not to pass the bill brought before it by the National Broadcasting Commission seeking to regulate the social media. Country Director Advocate Sans Frontiers France and Nigeria says it's important that the freedom of Nigeria in the digital space is not gagged. She made this statement at a, at a two-day digital rights training workshop for lawyers, academics, tech platforms, providers, and government partners in Abuja. She urged the National Assembly to reject a bill seeking to repeal and amend the MBC Act to accommodate the transition from analog to digital broadcasting service. And Vice President Kashim Shatima says Nigeria's strategic partnership with China needs to be scaled up as it remains key to Africa's development. He disclosed this is already in progress on the part of Nigeria as President Tinubu has strategically tinkered with the country's foreign policy to drive and boost investors' confidence. Nigeria's Vice President said this when he was hosted by, by his counterpart in the People's Republic of China, Vice President Hang Zheng, at the Jota State Guest House, Beijing. Senator Shatima is in China to represent President Tinubu at the ongoing Belt and Road Initiative Forum. He also declared that the rest of Africa stands to gain from a successful Nigeria, insisting that the mutually beneficial relationship will be further enhanced and upgraded to a comprehensive strategic partnership.